And welcome back to our EmergeSolve tutorial video series. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use mread and mcode to load um, a model into your R session to simulate from. So M both mread and mcode are functions in EmergeSolve, and that's the way that we read some model specification code, either from a file or from uh, an R object, and we can get a model object that we can simulate from and this is usually the first thing you do in your MRD Solve simulation workflow. So just to orient you into um, how I'm working here, so I've got a document called mre.rmd, um, and that's listed right here, and that's where I'm typing the demonstration code. In the same working directory that we have this mre.rmd, I've got a file called demo.cpp. We can switch over to that. This demo.cpp, this is a model specification code. Um, we'll talk about how to specify models in a, in a different video, um, but for now we've got just a PK model here with a couple compartments and some parameters um, and an output where we're going to simulate from this concentration. And basically my task in this video is I want to show you how to read this model uh, file into an object that we can simulate from. So I'm going to save the output of the mread command to, called mod. Um, this is what I use in a lot of my uh, demonstration vignettes and videos, um, but you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it mod. This is our model object. I'm going to call mread. And for this first argument to, to mread, I'm going to pass it in uh, a string called demo. And when mread finds a string like this called demo, it's going to look for a file called demo, this model name, .cpp. So it's going to try and read this file and parse it and load it in. So we can run that uh, chunk of code there. We can see that there's some compiling going on and that it's done. And now I've got this model object that I can simulate from. And we can look into a little bit more in a different video on how to query this model. Um, but we can see that this is a, a model object. We can simulate from this um, and get some kind of output. And that'll be all that kind of simulation piece will be coming in another video. But I wanted to show you um, this mread command. So our preferred workflow um, when modeling with MRD Solve, um, especially when you're on larger project work, is to keep models in a separate file. This means that you can, this implies that you can have multiple different scripts that are accessing the same model file. So you can kind of keep the model code separate from your analysis script, and then you can read the same model with different scripts, and it's, it goes unchanged. Um, but one thing that I would recommend for the workflow here, um, and this will illustrate a second argument for this emery command, is to keep these models in, in a different directory. So it's fine to keep them in the working directory if that's convenient or if that's what you'd like to do. For a lot of my project work, I keep it the models in a separate directory, and we kind of highlight this models directory here uh, in the uh, files pane. If I switch to that directory or I look into there, there's a function called demo2. Um, and so in my workflow, I've got my scripts in a directory, and then I've got my models in a directory off the script directory. And if I wanted to read that demo2, so now I'm going to, uh, this first argument is going to be demo2, and that's going to look for demo2.cpp. Um, but if I try and run this, it's going to come up with an error. It says error, the model file demo2 does not, cpp does not exist. And that's because this demo2 is still not in our working directory. Um, but I can point mread to where that model directory is by saying project equals models and that's to say for this models directory so this tells mread to look in this models directory for a file called demo2.cpp and we can run this command and now we've got the model um, loaded um, and then this is sort of designed to shorten this up to if you want to call this just by uh, matching the position of the arguments, you can just say demo2, and then the second argument is just the project directory. Um, and those are really the, the main commands that we um, that we use for, uh, uh, or the, the main arguments that you're uh, changing in this mread command. Um, recall that, yeah, um, there, there's another, there's a cousin of mread called um, mread cache. So mod equals mread cache. So I'm just going to go after that demo2 in the models directory. And mread cache is just like mread, except it caches the result of that compilation. So we're going to run this mread uh, 
cache. When we read it once, the model is going to get compiled, and it's just going to be as if we read if we called mread. Um, but if you'll notice that the second time we run mread cache, we can run it again, and now you look at the the message that you get. It says loading the model from cache. So mread, when it read the model file and it com compiled things, it cached the result of the model compilation and it put it somewhere. And that when we um, call mread cache again, um, mread is going to check to see if the cache hasn't been invalidated. If it hasn't, There's it's just another load from the cache. Uh, kind of cousin, more of a distant cousin to mread called mcode that you'll see in a lot of the demonstration work. And what mcode is, does is this. Um, you'll see a lot of this in the example. So I can say a model code. Rather than keeping the model in a file, sometimes you might want to do it in line. And I can, I'm just going to go over to this demo CPP and I'm just going to copy this just to show you that we're just doing the exact same thing here. So I can paste that code into a into an R character. So this code is just a, a character string of that model specification code. Um, you'll notice that I did a single print uh, or a quotation mark here instead of the double. Um, and that just, if I do a single on the outside, then I can use this double quote for things like this. Um, but you could probably reverse it too. Uh, my convention is always to use the single quotes around this code chunk here. So I can take that character string and I can do the same thing or similar thing. So I can create a new model object and now I'm going to call mcode. And now I need to come up with a name for the model. So here I use demo2 because the model file, the model was stored in a file called demo2 and I, the, the that stem of the model file becomes the, the model um, name. So I need to come up with a name. This is this uh, mcode demo. So the first argument here is the name of the model and I'm just going to come up with a name. And then the second argument is I'm going to pass in the code. And so now I've got a model object built from this character string right here. Just like mread, mcode also has a cache. Um, well, so wait, let's back up. So um, kind of one thing that uh, I commonly uh, uh, sometimes that, or that I sometimes I do when I'm doing this is that sometimes you'll see this. I'll do this mread. I'll try and use mread to do that, um, and this will generate generate an error, and it says the project argument contains new lines. Did you mean to call mcode? Yep, uh, I, I meant to call mcode, but I called mread. Um, so um, just be aware of that. You might see that. You might start making this um, mistake, uh, coding mistake, calling mread when you meant to call mcode. But hopefully we'll catch that and remind you to use mcode. Um, but mcode has a, a cousin called mcode cache. And so we can call this again. The first time we call it, it's going to compile the model just as if we had called mcode. Uh, but now when we call it again, it's going to load the model from the cache. Um, and so that might be a little bit of a convenience thing that you might do, um, just, just um, calling uh, mcode cache rather than mcode. Um, but these are totally two equivalent ways of loading the model, uh, a model specification code to generate a model object, either using mread or mcode, and then thinking about whether you want to use the, M the mread cache or the mcode cache uh, function as well. Um, but after you call these, you'll have a model object and that you can simulate from. Please see the rest of our videos in the tutorial se series about how to use these model objects to simulate how to query these model objects. All those will be coming up um, in a different uh, video in the in the introduction to Emergy Solve um, video series. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.